<laughs> Great. This is the worst possible matchup, isn't it? It's Ducky. It's Ducky with Chaufs. He's going to murder my team and win the game as well. Right. I'm just going to mute and uh, and eat and um, yeah, and it's okay. Yeah, look, if if you sp you can spin into people, you can spin into people. Well, yeah, I just I just object to sniping. Obviously, look, we can always just randomly match, can't we? Three hundred TV down. What a lot of shit. Um. Pretty annoying, isn't it? Just short of hubris. Could go for Eldrill. Could just go for a fucking apple. Two apples, keep my players alive. And there's no way my team's gonna survive. It's just gonna get gutted. Absolutely fucking murdered. It's got absolutely zero chance of the team being alive. Or winning. Okay, I'll run. What I can do is after I can just concede after use my apple, can't I? Um, that's that's the thing to do. It's just shit, isn't it? It's just shit to be this this much TV down against somebody who's good. No need for it. No need for it when you could be TV up against somebody who's good or just be playing someone who's shit. It's pretty crap to be against. Like, you know, it's, it's a harder match being against Ducky than anybody else anyway. And then to be 300 fucking TV down on top of it. It makes it a bit shit, doesn't it? always works. No, but do you know what I mean? There's no point. Look, even if he casts six players, that's probably only two perms. And then, so, you know, too much is made of, like, oh, your team might die. You know, everyone was expecting Inarians or Mole's team to die over the playoffs. But even if they take, you know, like, they've got to unlook, you've got to be unlucky to take a perm. Even if you take four cards, really, so... I like that, I always did it, did it all caps then as well, guys. I've got no problem with just randomly matching, matching Ducky. But, um, it just sucks that it's so much TV down and against somebody who knows how to play. <laughs> when there's so much, there's so much chance of being TV up against somebody who can't play. Well, this is probably going to make last game look look pleasurable. <laughs> look. I 
did consider the art roll, but not really. Because only 11 players is shit, isn't it? Well, at least it's a good, it's a good match, isn't it? For the good match to watch, natural, not just competent opponent, but ducky of all people. He's tempting the he's tempting the fireball, isn't he? There, he's tempting it. If he goes down, there's a four plus surf on. No, no, they both have to go down. If he goes down and he goes down, there's a four plus surf the ball on. If he goes down, it's terrible. If he just goes down, it's terrible. If he just goes down, it's terrible. So hitting one is terrible. Obviously, hitting him and anybody else is amazing. I guess I can't do it as much as I'd like to. Obviously, got the um, got this guy as well. I haven't. I've got Eldrill too. So, like, if he gets knocked out. And he gets knocked down. He could come in, gaze him, and then could surf him. Oh, he's got Fen. Thanks, I can't see it behind the other things. <laughs> Alright, so can't surf the carrier, whatever happens. Could surf the bull, potentially. But no, I guess it's not worth it then. Fucked him there anyway. That was um that was good. Yeah, Chaufs are good. They're especially good against like stuff like Dark Elves. Basically, Dark Elves is probably their their literal best matchup. <laughs> um, out of the elves, not obviously not their best matchup, not better than Brett or anything, but the best of the elves because their claw actually gets to do something, doesn't it? Like better than Wood Elves. I mean, obviously High Elves aren't anything exciting, but High Elves have got four armor seven, so. They're the elves that Claw is best against, aren't they, Dark Elves? That's the problem with Dark Elves. Not that Ducky has Claw, of course.
Well, I mean, they've got semi-movement nine strength four players. Kind of. Movement nine, strength four, agility four players, don't they? So they have some really good... They have some really good players. And they've got chores. But yeah, like, against... Nurgle or Chaos, their claw has to be better than Nurgle or Chaos because they just just get out bashed by them basically. Barring dice. Not having the strength is really really bad against them. And even against stuff like Orcs. They've got to get a removal. I could always go for a, a fireball here and then Eldrill and then Sack. So he's got he's got to be a bit worried as old ducky. He can't he can't just go crazy. He's got to be wary of the of the ball saccharation. Baby. Random cars. Wish I'd done it on the Mighty Blow Guard guy now. Well, not that random, of course, Mighty Blow. Um, but of course, my reasoning for that was to limit his blitz next turn. So you'd have to GFI. Twice to blitz. Ah. Mean still he is, I guess. I wish I hadn't been scared of this guy. If only I hadn't been scared of him, I would have blitzed the Mighty Blow Guard, which would have been amazing. Plus, I can always bolt him and um, old rule, can't I? So, yeah, having, having old rule and a wizard is obviously is a good combination, isn't it? As much as it sucks to be down TV against Chorfs. Might as well re-roll it, because I, I want to get the pal, and I uh, don't have to dodge out in a 2+, plus without dodge to it.
Oh, it's getting a bit stretched. Getting a bit stretched. Wow. I can almost go for a fireball here, can't I? If I get him, it's pretty good. If I get one of those, I get to block the other one. Um, Eldrill. If I just bolt him. Eldrill is hanging around. He's in good, Everyone's in a good spot. So I think this could be, this could be the moment because everyone's everyone's primed to capitalise off this. If I bolt him, the ball goes somewhere. Somebody gets blitzed. Um, someone gets L drilled. I just feel like fireballs better. If he goes down, it's two dice on him straight away. If he goes down, but I could just put the guard in and block these guys down. Yeah, maybe next turn. He's still in a bit of trouble, isn't he, this turn? If I get a push here, it's not that good. If I don't do anything, he gets 2 dB down. Hmm. Don't know. Like, he's in a bit of trouble, isn't he? Especially with that cheeky stun there. This is a power, it's amazing, isn't it? But the fact they're naked, scary. Just leave it like that. I feel the need. The need for speed. Thank you for the follow, MGIT12. <laughs> oh, I would have pushed him and then made another one dice and got another push. So it wouldn't have really made any difference. Because the good thing about this is if he gets the push, or even if he got the power, it didn't lead to another 2 dB, did it? So they, I thought they were kind of all right where they were. It's not super easy for him to get removals when he's got to protect the ball, though, is it? That's the thing. Like, not that it's unlikely. But it's not super easy. Shit. 
there you go, he gets a removal. <laughs> but still, 10 versus 10. It might have been a good turn for the wizard that turn. But that was the thing, I thought, yeah, as you say, Sean could get him in a tough spot without using the wiz. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, but I've got to think about the got to think about the wizard every turn. Like even a bolt. Get to knock down the hobs. Fireball. There's not a lot there. Now it's harder because this is he's got the ball really protected, hasn't he? Um Guard would have to come in here, blitz him with piling up, the mighty blow guy, block him, and then maybe, maybe next turn. Alright, so I'm giving up a block by doing this, but, alright, it's going to take two players' actions to block him, which I'm kind of alright with. How did he just... Oh, he just had to stood him up. I was being an idiot. Shouldn't have given up that block. <laughs> so he wants to switch, but have two witches and Eldril that side. So I thought Eldril makes this the side switch a lot harder for him, doesn't it? Look, I'll I'll take just stopping stopping Ducky scoring, won't I? Probably not gonna get the counter score now if I use the wizard. Very nice, both down. 
Oh man, Wiz is really tempting now, isn't it? Holy shit. Holy shit is the wizard tempting now. Eldra was there. But then on the other hand... It looks it looks stoppable without a wizard, doesn't it? Like the wizard the wizard isn't getting me a touchdown, so I'll hold off. Fuck frenzy being a mega trait right now. Try to gaze him and then just blitz him down. We could also blitz this one. But then can't we? He's done a good job of protecting his hobgoblins, hasn't he? It's all getting a little bit fucked up, isn't it? Need the knockdown on the both down here. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's got to apple that. Holy shit, apple fail. Sorry, Ducky. Random Kaz. <laughs> it was the guard guy. Holy shit. Oh god. I love the look. Holy shit. Oh yeah. It wasn't a questionable reroll at all. I've only got two. I've only got one more turn to stop the skull. I've even based the ball. <laughs> Ducky is actually getting out bashed, isn't that the craziest thing ever? And he's protected his hobgoblins perfectly as well. He based a bit on offense, didn't he? That was the thing. He got the both down with his killer, where maybe he could have re-rolled it. Didn't. So because he didn't, he based everybody. And because everyone was based, I thought about wizarding and going for the steal, but instead I just thought I'd just beat him up a bit. And um, obviously the random Kaz was unbelievable. <laughs> nah, I, I, look, I don't want to fuck Ducky over, do I? But, um, well, 
If I was already qualified, I would, because obviously the weaker his team, the better it is for me in the finals. So if I was already qualified, um, then yeah, it's really good to weaken Ducky's team. But I don't really gain from wrecking his team at the moment, do I? Oh, there you go. The one guy without Mighty Blow gets a cash. Ball is no longer based. I mean, I could have sidestepped there, obviously. Then he just gets to 2D me with Mighty Blow, doesn't he? That's not armor, armor break. He's, uh, he's in all kinds of trouble. Right. <laughs> so I guess this guy's the one who's going to try and score. I mean, he's in range with both. But well, no, with one ball. This is literally a one dice on the ball. He can 2db for a push, get two dice on the ball. She can run away, pick it up, pass it to him. So... He blocks him. Like obviously you could just three plus this, but then I've got no rerolls and it's hard to get around, isn't it? So better to two D with a loner. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's fine. It's just so you can get him with him, but one, two, three, four, five, six can base him. So yeah, move him there first. Bish bosh bash. Don't want in nine. Yeah. Oh, he ain't got tackle, has he? Uh, maybe I should go for the blitz with her then, eh? Oh, he's got friend. He's got friend anyway. Wrestle. All right, let's go with the wrestle. Two, three, four, GFI, GFI. Got a reroll, so might as well go for these. Oh, 
Oh, you fuck. I guess you just gotta stand in there. I wish I could have done it with one less player and I could have had somebody here, couldn't I? And then it would have been pretty safe. Got to chain her two forward. If only it been the witch that had gone to score, that would have been better, wouldn't it? Well, he might score. It's not even that hard for him. Maybe should have based the, uh, based the ball. It's probably like five plus pass, isn't it? Oh, this one then hand it off. Oh, yeah, clever. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, he's got nerves of steel and catch. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, he fell. What a cunt. Oh, fuck off, man. <laughs> that was so fucking random. Holy shit. One, two, three, four. Boom. Like, obviously, I want to surf him, but I can do it, so I've got to go for it, haven't I? Oh, knocked out instead of surfing his guy. Fuck's sake. Maybe the shoe's gone for the surf, eh? Ball stay out. So nine players for the second half. He's still got 11, hasn't he? But he is missing two good players. Yeah, I should have just gone for the serve. Well, come on, there was a chance of a double push. Wasn't that crazy. A lot of dice though, wasn't it? Yeah, I guess I should have just gone for the serve. But now with the wizard to force through the touchdown as well. Oh, I really fucking wish I'd made one of those fucking KO rolls. That was brutal, losing him instead of him losing a player. Two player swing. I guess I really should have gone for that. I really should have gone for this here. Fuck. Eldril can score, I don't even care. I don't even care about the star player points. It's 
probably just a scam. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, let's have a look at this. So I'll probably want in there. Uh, punch people. Oh god, I've still got my two loners. Fuck's sake. The blood stepper has to carry the ball just in case. Could try and surf this one, couldn't I? He goes out, gazes in. Could surf this one. That's really worth doing. Gaze him. That doesn't work. He's got his own tackles on. Alright, so gazing doesn't even work. Fucking derp. It'd be a 3 plus that way. But a 3 plus with a dodge is actually pretty good, isn't it? Gaze him, then 3 plus to surf him. With a reroll, that's too good. Right, that's what I'm going to do. He goes there. If it doesn't work, he blitzes him. If it does work, then he goes there, she goes there, serves him. I need this bastion so the next turn that I don't turn over, I'm just going to let the turn run. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Fucked by a rock. What a surprise. What an absolute fucking surprise. Ball goes to the side. So he goes there, and then she goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, something like that. If he counters Earth alone, I don't even care, do I? I can try to protect him a bit anyway.
rock hit um hot rick hot the rock hit my blitzer so four guys are that down There's no way I could stop the counter serve. Because if, if I assist with a loner guy here, then he just gets blocked and then serve, you know, potentially. But yeah, maybe that would have been the best spot for him. Could have put him there. I just didn't want him. It's pretty much guaranteed the counter serve. I guess he would have had to do some work if I had done that maybe. But obviously I'm trading it. I'm trading a loner journeyman for a blocker all day, aren't I? Shit, I forgot. <laughs> BLGFPY. I can go for the pass here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then pass there. Don't really want to make these two with a loner. To maybe hypno him. Just take the three plus count. Try to hypno him now. Nice to look at the interception. Yeah, I, I knew he didn't accept. I knew that if you give someone a chance to accept, they just don't accept every single fucking time, don't they? Of course they do. Oh well. GG then. Maybe they should. Well, if I'd bought them, you just didn't accept it with somebody else. Everyone always intercepts. Literally everybody intercepts. If you give somebody a 6 plus, they fucking roll it. Just guarantee. Guarantee fucking T. Every single time. Everyone. If you give someone a chance to, to intercept, they'll intercept. Obviously, apart from the guy with 5 plus with the reroll. Because I just fucking lose. It's why I didn't sideline the opposite direction. Yeah. 
You can choose to try and win now, or you can just you choose to fucking lose later. <laughs> it's literally your choices there. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've got no fucking player standing up. All I could do was go for the fucking win there. Well, go for the score there, and then hopefully, you know, stop him again. Get the KOs back. What are you doing, what are you doing here? <laughs> VGP. Oh, ah. VGP. <laughs> Come on, centre. Proper ducky foul, this, isn't it? Cage round a guy. <laughs> Don't get sent off. Okay then, I'll bear that in mind. Um, thank you. I would, yeah, I would totally, I totally could have sideline cage, and then had it swarmed by six players, and then see what would have happened the turn after. The only way I was scoring that drive was with that play. That's literally. That was literally it. Maybe I should have just fucking long bombed it. There's no way I score if I sideline cage there. No fucking way. No fucking way. Now I've got to bolt. It's stupid doing a fireball, isn't it? Because I'd have to get so lucky. That is simply not true. The hater does Just got to bolt, get the ball assertion. in. Well, it could bounce off him and go there or something. I'm still not going to win though now. It's just going to be a loss, in fact. Wish I had. Wish I'd surfed him instead of getting my guy knocked out. <laughs> wish the fucking rock hadn't fucked us. They did, yeah. If you can, if you can call it a final, yeah. They did have the finally an armor seventeen got beaten up. Got a mighty blow there, so... This isn't awful. Yeah, that's what I get for playing well, you're quite right, you're quite right, slander now. I should definitely just more on sideline caged it, you're 100% right. Next time, next time I feel like losing on sideline cage. Slanish. Mm. Great call, great call buddy. Rolling a one on a zap and then getting a rock. A rock, a zap, and the interception all in the same drive is uh, pretty shit, isn't it? Maybe I should have fireballed it. Be more chance of something happening then, wouldn't it? Oh, sad to lose it. After doing quite well in the first half. 
quite well. When I say quite well, rolling quite well. I mean, I, it was pure. Well, it wasn't pure random. Well, it was his decision to base me a lot, wasn't it? But obviously very lucky to get that curse. BGP turns up for one game and it's the first loss. Well done. <laughs> oh, man. Now it's just a typical... Typical ducky game, isn't it? Fouling every turn. Never getting sent off. Murdering the team. What are you doing there? What are you doing there? All I can do is minus 2D the ball. There's nothing that Wrigley can do. He's trying to hit his guy with <laughs> dirty players and our players don't die. Oh, he's even got fucking wrestle card. <sighs> what a what a one to roll eh? so annoying that it's just all from the fucking interception. What are you doing there? What are you doing there? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, Joe Manji. Oh, yeah, VGP. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I'm glad you like the team anyway. <laughs> Go to like the team BGP. Oh man. Just seems just feels bad, man, to get a loss, doesn't it? After being so close to going one 0 up, really, at the first half. Pretty close to being one 0 up, and then a draw would have been fine. So keep fouling every turn, never getting sent off. Standard. <laughs> Anything I can do? Fucking doubt it. Base the ball. <laughs> oh shit. I can do is just base with everybody, isn't it? Hope something happens. Oh. 
<laughs> Why are you, what are you doing here? What are you doing? Ah. <laughs> what are you doing? Ah. <laughs> All right, see you later, VGP. Thank you. Losing to Ducky's fine anyway. It's better than fucking losing to to Baser who wasn't even trying to win. Pretty good turn of people not dying. <laughs> So far. Ducky is the two-time champ, and um, the champion ladder, he's a very good coach, and uh, so yeah, so it's, it's no shame losing to him, but just after the first half I was pretty lucky, a little bit sad. Need a pal. And then she could have gone <laughs> for a fucking 3 plus 4 plus into um, 1D if that had been a pal. They're asking a lot though, wasn't it? It's just shit that I can't even 1D. Of all the players, maybe I should have gone for the uh, hypno gazing him just because obviously the bull intercepting was far worse than anybody else intercepting. Yeah, the, the dice rolls have been pretty good. It was just that one crucial one, wasn't it? But apart from that, the dice rolls have been great, really. Well, obviously, the fucking the rock wasn't very nice, and the t failing him failing a GFI into KO and then not recovering was pretty bad. Could have easily had two more players. If it had two more players this half, it would have probably been an easy win. Yeah. Thank you. 
Hmm. I can try to elf screen with a few players. That's probably all I can do, isn't it? Rather than try to suck it. I can't suck it, so. The loner rolls a one. Double one. No, oh, well, GG. I thought it was worth, worth going for that pass. Just got unlucky. Maybe I should have gone for the long bomb, just because it, if it had failed, it wouldn't have been an insta-lose like the intercept was. Could have gone for the sideline cage, but I just feel like that was, that was doomed to failure. The sideline cage was basic. I mean, it was basically impossible. Sideline cage. <laughs> no, Chrissy Mungin just activate him. There's no point hitting on the ball. Could hit no the cage corner, and then. You know, minus two D the ball. Got it. Yeah, if I, if I could have magically sideline cage somewhere good, then yeah, but I couldn't. There was not. There was no good player I could have done. So I've got a minus 2D the ball. Somehow. With his tackle guy. Dodging on a 6 plus. You could dodge there on a 3, but without tackle, it's without dodge, it's horrible. Go there, go there, and then it's a no dodging. that reroll, a 3 plus, 3 plus to do that. I'll just go for the 6 plus with a reroll. I guess this is easier, isn't it? Come on, get him. No reroll, let's go. Oh, no, fucking push. Should have followed, shouldn't I? Hope from to one in twelve nine six to not score. No strip ball punished. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I should totally take in strip ball instead of mighty blow or tackle or dodge. Did you?
fucking interception. Really pissed off after the first half. The first half went so well. Obviously, dice rolls had a big part in that. I'm not saying I totally outplayed him first half, but um, after the first half going so well, I obviously I should just surf the ball carry rather than going for the double push to try and score. Pretty stupid. No, delete team, no, <laughs> no, amazingly enough, the team is, um, is staying like this, but, um, yeah, it, obviously it looks a lot worse, doesn't it, 12-0-1 looks a lot worse than 12-0-0, um, tough, tough, um, got hardly any winnings, still no reserves, Pretty tough but um right thanks for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic